Hello and welcome to Bottoms Down Fitness. I'm Carol and I'm so glad you're joining us today. We will be doing our low impact aerobics class. We'll be working with our light weights in a small ball. Remember you can substitute soup cans in a toilet paper roll or you can just do them without it, right? It's just fine. Most of the class will be standing, but if at any time you feel like you want to have a seat, just keep working front with us. From seated, it's just fine. Later this afternoon, we'll upload this video to our Bottoms Down Chair Yoga YouTube channel. There's a playlist for low impact aerobics. While you're there, if you click on that red subscribe button, we'd really appreciate it. All right, let's get started. We're going to come to standing. I'm going to move my chair out of the way, but you can have your chair right next to you. And here we go. We're going to start with that right leg, okay? We're going to just do our toes forward. So a few things to think about. We want to pull that belly button into the spine. We want to constantly keep that core solid, okay? Shoulders stay down out of the ears. Our spine is long, so we want to really think about lengthening through that spine. And remember, adding those arms is always going to get the heart rate up higher. Let's make that a heel now. So if you're adding those arms, which is great, we're going to build that heart rate just a little bit, nice and slowly here at the beginning as we warm up. But if later on you're like, whoa, this is just too much for me, just take the arms out, right? Leave the legs going and you'll, you'll be able to get that heart rate down a little bit. All right, toe tap back. I'm squeezing my shoulder blades behind my back. I'm making it the top of my toe is touching, not the ball of my foot. I'm stretching the top of that foot. You feel it? Warming up. Hamstring curls. So I'm kicking my foot up towards my tush, bending at the knees, squeezing my shoulder blades behind my back. Keep going. also stretching their foot. Toe tap back. So we want to keep that foot nice and flexible so that when we walk, hamstring curl. That foot moves, right? So it doesn't, we don't shuffle, but we want to hinge that foot. Toe tap front. You should begin to feel the heart rate come up a little bit now. Let's make it a heel. Good. Are you breathing? Toe tap back. Hamstring curl. Here we go. Toe tap front. Make it a heel. Toe tap back. take those legs and we're going to do an out, just an out and out. See, out, in, out, in. So that's the only motion the legs are going to do. Because we're going to get focusing up now on the upper body. But we want to keep those legs going so we can keep that heart rate up. Okay? Alright, we're going to add a shrug. So all I'm doing is just lifting my shoulder up. Same shoulder as the leg. Just keep going. Just a little exaggerated shrug as we begin to warm up the shoulders and the back and the arms, the chest. Let's roll those shoulders. Good. Keep it here. Keep going. All right, now we're gonna add the elbow. So it's just a bent elbow, 
and I'm still rolling those shoulders. Keep going. Okay, now I'm gonna add a backstroke. If this is too much on your shoulders, keep the elbow bent. Do what we were just doing before. Do this. Okay. Shrug. Okay, let's roll those shoulders forward. Good. Add your elbow. Pushing through my side waist, pushing those arms forward. Keep it here. Push it. So I'm feeling my back stretching. My core is solid. Side waist is working. Oh yeah. Back to shrug. All right. Very good. Okay. So we're going to do aerobics next. A little low impact aerobics. So I'm going to be starting on my right leg, and I'm just going to kind of do a little side step up. I'll show you. Here we go. So, so it's four up and then four back. Again. And if you've been with me before, you know how we add and add, right? So if you don't want to add on, here's going to be your position right here. Now just walk back. Do you see what I'm doing there? I'm just kind of a little scoot. Add those arms. That's going to get that heart rate up higher. Again, scoot it. And back. Again, scoot. And back. Okay, change is coming. Let's scoot it up. Heel, I mean, uh, knee lift back. Nice wide stance. Scoot it up. Knee lift back. Scoot it up. Knee lift back. Again. Knees. Hamstring curls. Step. Heart rate come down. Just 
let it come down. No arms. I don't know about you, but my heart rate's up. All right, very good. Grab a little water. Grab one weight, okay, just one weight. Or soup can. side so you can see me a little better. You're going to stay facing me. Your right leg is forward. You're going to bend that front knee, okay? For the first thing, I want you to put this right hand behind your back. We're going to hinge forward. That weight is out. You see what I'm doing there? Okay, now I'm going to bend my elbow, squeeze my shoulder blade behind my back, and I'm going to release it. Single arm row. One arm row, squeeze the shoulder blade behind the back. Bring it in and squeeze. Bring it in and squeeze. Bring it in and squeeze. One more, listen. Bring it in and squeeze. Now we're gonna take that tricep. So my palm is facing to the ceiling. Here we go, lift it up to the ceiling. Down, up, down, up. And if you wanna bring this hand and put it here for support, that's fine. Up, up, listen, hold it up, in and out behind the back, in and out, in and out, in and out, listen, in and out, now we're going up and in, up and in, up and in, up and in, one more, up and in, hold, pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let that arm hang out. Ooh. You feel it? I do. Okay, we're going to do the other side. Again, I'm turning. You just stay facing forward. All right? Let's start with those rows. Are we ready? Here we go. Squeeze. Release. Squeeze. Release. Left arm is behind your back. Squeeze. One more. Squeeze. Hold. Let that arm come back behind you. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. One more. Up, hold. In and out. In and out. In and out. In and out. Ready? Up and in. Up and in. Up and in. Up and in. One more. Up, hold, and pulse. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Put your weight down. Very, very good. Bring your chair. Uh, we're going to have a seat in our chair. Grab a little water. Ha! Okay. So our next section, we're going to be working on our side waist, but we're going to be adding a kick to give it just a little extra aerobic work, okay? So you can leave the kick out. You can make your kick small. I'm going to show you alternatives, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to have our hands crossed over our chest, okay? Now we're going to twist to the right and come center. Don't pulse yet. I did that wrong. Twist to the left, come center. Twist to the right and come center. Twist to the left and come center. All right, now we're going to add the leg. So you add the leg of the side where you're twisting. You see that? So if I'm twisting to the left, it's my left leg is up. Twist. A twist kick. All right, you got it? Twist and kick. Twist and kick. Woo! Now, if you don't want to kick as high as I'm kicking, don't. If you want to leave it out, just twist. Have we got it? All right, leave the kick out and we're going to pause. Twist, two, three, and center. Twist, two, three, and center. Twist, two, Three, the work is happening right at the waist. Don't let those hips help. Okay, let's twist and kick. Twist and center. Twist and kick. Center. You got it. 
Oh yeah. Remember, lower kick is fine and no kick is fine. Or see if you can get that leg up a little higher, but don't lean back, right? So it's not how high can I get that leg, it's just making sure that you're using that core, side waist muscles. Oh yeah, you got it. Keep going, we're almost there. Almost there. Woo! Take the kick out. Finish it up. You should be feeling that side waist by now. Right? We're working it hard. We're not letting those knees rock. The knees are staying stable. Only thing moving is the torso right at the waist. Okay. Now the next ones are called switch kicks. And I'm telling you right now, they look like a breeze. And once we've done 253 million of them, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> once we've done a few, you're gonna begin to feel it. It's also a little brain work. So I want you to take your right foot, extend it long, bring your arms to 90 degrees, all right? Now, we're gonna bring our hands down, and as we come our arms back up to that 90 degrees, we're gonna switch our feet, and down we go. And switch your feet and down we go and switch your feet so the switching of the feet happens when the arms are coming up do you feel it so we tend to want to do it when our arms are coming down but i want you to do the switching of the feet when the arms are coming up all right you got it i know it takes some kind of some concentration here and your belly is tight so we don't want you to lean back so don't let the you know, don't lean back to switch those feet. Keep that belly tight. You got it? All right. Woo! Let's take the arms out. Just do the legs. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do with the arms is we're gonna have them up in the air. So you can stay at that 90 degree angle or we can go up to the air. Okay, let's start with that right foot. Hands are in the air. Are we ready? Bring the hands down and switch. Down, switch, 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 switch. Back to that 90 degree arm, switch, switch. You got it. To the ceiling. No arms. Take a moment. So we're gonna do the same thing from standing. So if you wanna stay seated, you know what to do, right? You know exactly what to do. If you wanna come with me, we're gonna come up to standing. I know, it's, it's challenging. Again, you kinda of look at it and you think, well, that can't be that hard. Well, it really is. <laughs> okay. So we're going to start with that right foot, we're going to bring it out and we're going to bring those arms to that 90 degrees. Bring it down and switch, down and switch, down, switch and switch. You got it. Keep going. I know at first you're going, okay, good, this is cool. Hey, and you may be in better shape than me and you may be at the end going, it's fine, it's cool. It gets my heart right up. All right, are we ready? We're going to the ceiling. Here we go. Up. Switch it. Switch the legs as the arms come up to the ceiling. You kind of use that little bit of momentum to do that leg switch. Oh, yeah. Keep going. Remember, big arm movements is going to get the heart rate up higher and faster. So if you're feeling like that heart rate is a little higher than you want it to be, you can be come back down to here, right? 90 degrees. Let's everybody come back to that 90 degrees. Let that heart rate come down. I'm a huge proponent of interval training. I think it's really good to bring the heart rate up, let the heart rate come back down, bring the heart rate up, all the way to the ceiling. You got it. Keep going. 
Oh yeah! Woo! Keep going. Now your choice, if you want to bring it back to that 90 degrees, this would be a good time to do that. If you're with me, we're going to finish strong. We only have a few more. Now don't just stop, bring the hands out. Now I want it to stop being a jump. Just let those feet, let that heart rate come down. Kind of a little more gently than you just stop. All right, excellent. Grab your chair. We're gonna be on the right side of our chair. Grab some water, do a little stretching. So the same leg as the side of the chair is gonna be forward. The other leg is back. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see me. You're still facing me. So my right leg is whichever. I guess it would be left leg, wouldn't it? Left leg forward, right leg is back. So I want that heel to be down on the floor. And you see how my foot is straight? It's not at an angle, it's straight. My hips are forward. I'm going to bend that front knee. Keep that heel down for your calf stretch. Straighten your front leg, hinge over. Come up, bend the front knee, bend the back knee. There's your Achilles stretch. Okay, now I'm gonna come up onto those back toes. I have to push my foot out just a little bit. I want that knee behind those front toes and I'm gonna let it sink down to feel that stretch into my quadricep. All right, you feel it? Okay, let's switch sides. Switch sides. Remember that back foot is down, that foot is straight, the heel is down. Hips are forward, bend that front knee. Feel that calf stretch. Oh yeah. All right, straighten the front leg, hinge over that. There's your hamstring stretch. Let's come up, bend that front knee. Now bend your back knee, there's your Achilles. And then I'm just gonna let myself sink into that quadricep stretch. Ha, all right. Grab your ball or your toilet paper roll or your nothing. Put that ball right between your thighs. Come to the edge of that chair. Here we go. Squeeze for two, release for two. Squeeze for two, release for two. Belly is tight. Don't let that belly just hang out here. I want that belly to belly button to spine. Are we ready to pulse it? Pulse, pulse, pulse. Inner, outer thighs, work in the groin. We got a lot going on here. I even feel my glutes are squeezing, right? So you can make this Oh, it'll be a lot of these muscles. All right, let's move it to our knee. Squeeze, two, release, two. Squeeze, two, release, two. Squeeze, two, release, two. Squeeze, hold, and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, bring that ball to the calf. Squeeze, two, release, two. Squeeze, two, release, two. Squeeze, two, release, two. Squeeze, two, release, two. Squeeze, hold. We're gonna pulse it out. We're eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one. Very good. Put your ball down, grab a little water. All right. We've stretched a lot of the legs, but let's go ahead and do that stretch here for the hips. And then we'll do the stretching of the arms. So we're going to lift and we're going to hinge forward as we let that heart just fall forward. Then we're going to lift up, and we're going to do that again. Extend the spine long, keep the back flat, and let that heart just fall forward. There's our 
there's a nice stretch for that hip and glute area right here. You feel it? You can press gently on that knee if you want a little more. Oh, yeah. Woo. Okay, let's go to the other side. All right, we're going to extend the spine long and then let our heart fall forward as we really stretch into this hip and glute and all those muscles right up in there. Oh, yeah, that feels good. Go ahead and release it, and let's do that again. Extend and hinge. So, and if you like pressing very gently on that knee. All right, very good. Go ahead and sit up nice and tall and shake out your arms. Let's bring that right arm across our body. Shoulder is down. Give the wrist some rotation. Reverse. All right. Let's go ahead and stretch the bicep. We didn't do a lot of bicep work today, but that's okay. Still feels good, doesn't it? All right. Your tricep, you've got options. You can put that hand here and lift your elbow. You can put your hand in the small of the back and then your lean into the stretch. I'm just pulling gently on that elbow. Let's release it wherever you are and do it again. All right, shake it out. Let's do the other side. We're going to bring that arm across, give that wrist a rotation. Reverse it. Let's give the bicep a little love here. Release it and do that again. And remember, if you have arthritis in that wrist, you probably don't want to pull on it too much. It's okay. You don't have to, you know, pull on it. You'll still get a good stretch. All right, remember for tricep, your hand can go on that shoulder and you're lifting the elbow, or you can put the hand into the middle of the back. Extend and lean. So that extension first is just going to maximize that stretch. All right, release it. And what I mean by extend, I'm lengthening through my spine, and then I'm lengthening. So anytime we bend like this, if you lengthen your spine first, you're going to maximize the stretch. Beautiful. Go ahead and just shake out those arms. All right, take a deep breath in for me. And out. Let that right ear fall towards the right shoulder. You can close your eyes if you like or soften. Let's take that left arm, extend it long. Put that palm up towards the ceiling. Release it. Drop that head down towards the floor. Release it, other side. <sighs> if you like extending that arm, I love it. That's why I always do it. I just really like that. I get a little more stretch in my neck. Then when I flip my palm up, it's even more. Feel the stretch. And release it. All right, everybody. I am so glad that you joined us today. Thank you very much. Remember to go to YouTube, Bottoms Down Chair Yoga. Check out everything. We have a specific playlist for low-impact low aerobics. And I will see you next time.